What's up? Do I look good? Do I sound good? Oh man, wrong shirt again. Every time. There you go. Blue fits better with my skin tone. I don't know. Okay, let's cut the c Cut it. Cut it out. So a couple of months ago, I've posted this on Instagram. Two pictures of two Jack and Jones perfumes in different settings. I just wanted to show that product photography can mean a lot of things depending on what you want to use it for. And the fact that a little bit of research goes a long way when working with products. In my case, the reason of why I chose a denim jacket in my second picture. So basically what I was trying to say in the description of that post. This is not to say that one of the photos is better than the other, but rather that they both serve a purpose. On an e-commerce site, the first picture can easily be used as an add to cart thumbnail, while the second one with the jacket can be used as a promo graphic for a banner on a homepage. And to be honest, I love those pictures. In my opinion, they can easily end up on the website of Jack and Jones. So the other day, I was looking at those pictures and I was like, I gotta make a video. By the way, I'm sorry if the light keeps changing. My blinds are all the way down. I can't cover the windows more than this. Okay, cool. Let's set this up. Let's set this up. Let's, let's set, all I hear is, let's set this up. Let's set this up. Let us assemble the light box. Okay, I've set up my light box. I got my product over here and I'll probably need some fishing thread as well. I don't want to make the video too long. I only have a handful of shots I want to take. So I'll just go ahead and do that and we can continue this when I get to editing. So yeah, even though I'm obviously filming this the next day, it actually turned out for the better because yesterday I got to improvise a bit and experiment. Uh, I realized that actually my fishing thread was not strong enough to have the perfumes hanging. So I had to rethink some of the shots, but also had time to take a lot of the shots that didn't make it in the video. At the moment of recording this, I'm actually done editing the ad and I can frankly say, I like it. It took me about half an hour to improvise a solution for the fishing thread. My point was I really wanted this floaty feeling of a small rotating shot of the product. So what I did was I found my old egg timer on which I had adapted a GoPro mount. So after I took that off, I just took the product, put it on top and set the timer to 10 to 12 minutes, just enough so we can do the rotation I wanted. Even though I didn't have a shot list written down, half of the shots with the products you see, I actually had in mind, the other half I just improvised. However, the first thing I did before even recording anything was to find a song that I thought fits for the mood that I had in mind. So thanks to Epidemic Sound, not only that I found a song, but I was able to break apart the layers forming the song, the melody, the drums, the voice, everything. So that allowed me to shape it to my needs of a 15 second commercial. So basically the ending that you hear here, Take a real close look now. I made it more catchy and it sounds like it kind of was designed this way. And shortly after I managed to isolate the voice of the artist for the end shot, I already saw the final shot in mind. I saw the product rotating, overlaying some sort of hero shot. That's when I went on story blocks to find some relevant stock footage. I started typing for keywords I thought relates to the brand Jack and Jones until I typed denim and found this guy. I named him the denim guy. Not only I like his style and I thought he fits to the brand, but I found three videos of him, which was awesome. It kind of looks like we did this specifically for this commercial. I mean, it could also be for a denim jacket or whatever. I hope this can inspire some of you that are doing freelance work because Lately, I've been working with clients that don't really care if you film on location or not. If I use stock footage that is relevant with the brand and it fits to deliver a message, Bob's your uncle. Friends your aunt. What? <laughs> 
So I only use the green screen to isolate the products for that middle shot and obviously the one at the end. But for the rest of the shots with the product, I just use the white background. I'm actually pretty proud of the final touch I added to the video, which is this hashtag take a close look at the end, because obviously the inspiration came from the song, but I wanted to make it sound like it's part of some sort of campaign, like a current promotional theme. And if you rewatch the video, you realize it kind of fits. 90% of those shots are close-ups. Also that hashtag is on both of the products. I don't know, I, I think it just fits. And last but not least, my my biggest challenge with the video, besides the fishing thread, was finding a story for this ad. I think I watched like 20 commercials on YouTube until I realized almost none of them have an actual story in them. There's always some sort of abstract thing with somebody dressed way too fancy or way too sporty or I don't know. Have you seen the latest commercial with Zendaya on a horse? What is that? But yeah, before I let you watch the commercial one more time, I really want to thank you for watching until here and I hope I'll see you next week. And by the way, I have some things I really, really want to tell you, but I can't because it's a secret, but it won't be in about a week or two. So stay tuned. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. It involves a YouTube studio. Ah, I said too much. Take a real close look now.